So if you want to do some advanced or slightly more advanced editing in your podcast, it's not all that complicated. So if I were recording just on track two, and I went ahead and recorded the audio. So right now it's recording what I'm saying. And, you know, there's a few different things you can do with audio clips at a very basic level. Um, let's say I'm recording also on track three. So, you know, I go ahead and that's actually recording on both tracks. And if you're editing, you want to make sure you are editing uh, the tracks together. So let's say I've recorded something and I want to go ahead and, and stop recording and I want to delete. Let's say I have recorded a specific audio clip um, and I just want to delete that clip. So if you hold control down, then you can select or unselect the audio clips and you want to do it all across the tracks. And if you want to delete it, you can go ahead and click the delete button. Or let's say you want to make a quick trim, you know, so you're going to take this little white line here and move it to where, uh, where you, you want to trim the audio and you can play it back and you'll hear it in the headphones and stop it exactly where you want to stop it. So you could, you know, play back and then stop it. And then you can click both tracks. And then if you click the backslash button, which is a hold down uh, 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 the, uh, it's actually right, not, right underneath the uh, question mark button um, and hit the backslash button, then it will split the tracks into two. And you'll actually be able to select uh, the pieces of the, the track you wanna get rid of and go ahead and delete that. So that's one thing, a quick trim, you wanna do it for, um, all of the tracks to get rid of all the audio simultaneously for each microphone. The other thing you can do is if you wanted to add music, you're going to take an MP3 file of some sort or a music file, and you probably want it to be in the My Documents folder on this computer. So if you were to bring in an audio file, and of course it has to be a non-copyrighted audio file, which is hard to find, uh, but if you did find one, and you put it into the My Documents folder, such as this MP3 file here, and it would pop up on the left-hand side uh, of the menu, and you could actually click and drag that audio go into, uh, into the project in its own track. And at that point, let's say you want to do a quick audio intro. You can split the file, get rid of the extra, and then there's a little drag here where you could... Um, do a little fade in or fade out. So if you were to mess around with these little buttons and and kind of uh, <clears throat> you know move them across the audio clip, you would be able to fade the audio in and fade the audio out. And again, you can play it back with the headphones on and see what that sounds like. Um, that might be a little more than you want to do, but those are a couple of basic things, fade in, fade out, and trim. And if you know those commands, then you'll be in good shape to making a pretty professional sounding podcast. You can also click tracks. You can move them around a little bit if you need to record something in between or add or subtract. You know, maybe you make a quick mistake, but you don't want to get rid of everything. Then it's pretty simple to go ahead and, uh, you know, add something in and then, and then move things back. So hopefully that helps. If you want to do a little tweaking, might save you some time. If you make a mistake, you can get rid of the mistake, but not all the good stuff. And um, that'll do it.